Welcome to some more Race Driver Grid Part 16, and in this part we are going to, of course, be continuing where we left off. We're going to head over to the U.S. side now that we got the first row of uh, each uh, division's uh, second badge basically done. So let's go focus on the next row, starting with the Unlimited by Mark Echo Drift Battle. Yes, there actually is a drift event outside of the Japanese region here. So let's go and you drive it. Street racing and drifting. Executing drifts will reward you with points for speed, angle, and duration. In addition, your position in the race will multiply the score for that drift. Drivers in first place score the highest. You'll need to be strategic in the way you balance pedal to the metal racing to gain position with drifting to earn points. The race is not decided by who finishes first, but by who scores the most points. So it's a bit of an interesting twist on the kind of drift stuff that we've been doing. We're actually dry drifting alongside multiple others, and it's not so much, as I said, about being in first place as much as possible. It also has a lot to do with uh, getting as many points. So we, of course, could use our RX-7 that we used before, or the Corolla, but we can also use the Subaru Impreza, Toyota Soar, Nissan Silvia, and the Honda S2000, Pontiac GTO, and Dodge Charger Drift. We got a lot of cars we can choose from. And, because I feel like being a bit of an adventurous, let's go with the Honda S2000. It's 200000 to buy one brand new, or I can go on here and buy one for 172000 which is what I am going to do here. And base, so basically, yeah, here's our car here, the Honda S2000. Again, not normally a car you're supposed to be able to have, but if you check the description, you can download a little thing to be able to try to use the cars in grid world, like I'm able to here. So... With that out of the way, let's go and see how the S2000 fares against the other opposition. I know I could probably use one of the uh, more American muscle cars just to make it a bit more interesting, but I quite in enjoy the Honda S2000, so... So here's an, here's an interesting thing. Uh, there's, no, there's no person to look out for specifically right now. May there might be later on, but maybe by the next race, but at the moment, not so much. Yes, I'm quite aware of that. My issue is actually trying to make sure I can get keep, keep drift angle going, but uh, at the same time, I think I'm also shifting to too high a gear too, which is not helping me any. There you go. Wouldn't say I wouldn't say quite say that. I'm not having a lot of luck here. There we go. In fact my teammate Hamarling is uh Oh fuck! I downshifted when I should have upshifted. Didn't quite mean to do that, but whatever. Okay, let's just try to see if I can keep keep some sliding going here. Ooh, look at that! It was that was perfect too? That's gonna definitely help. Yeah, it seems like they don't. It seems like the others don't seem to get get, get their tail out when, on the the larger straightaways. They'll just they just try to build up speed. Look at that! I got a drift king for that for that one. It was a because it was a quite a long drift. There we go. Ah. Getting my shifts all bad right now. It's not a good sign. <laughs> I gotta. Oh no! And I've spun the car. We're fine. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Just keep it going. Just keep it going here. Out. Yes. Thank you, announcer. Because I clearly can't tell what happens when I run into a wall. It's a bit annoying. 
At least he's not saying much. He's not like the Japanese guy who, who constantly talks a lot. And I don't really have to worry for the rest of this. I've got, I've, got, I'm pretty much got the win for this one. Yes! Thank you, announcer. God, this guy's annoying. Maybe that's why there isn't so many in the U.S. Because this guy's an annoying prick. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It wasn't the cleanest of runs, but I still kind of crushed them, so... That's all that matters. In fact, my best combo was better than the second place, which was uh, my teammate, Hamarling. I swear, like, I thought I saw a decent shot there, I guess. Let's see. Hmm, I like, I like the depth perception in that, so I'll give that a screenshot real quick. And I'll we'll see if I can find another pretty decent one just real quick. Uh, ooh, that's actually kind of interesting. Something like that. Someone's horn just honked outside. Yeah, I don't think I'll use it, though. Anyways, enough of me focusing on that. Let's actually keep this going here. See, so yeah, my teammate came in, came in second, so we get the most amount of points out of that. I came first, which means I meet all my objectives for a very hefty 305,000. Hamarling did come second, so he makes all but two, so he still racks an impressive 241,000. And unfortunately, this time it looks like, I, of course, I have to start right at the back, and I screw up the shift. Oh, God! Okay, that was not what I was expecting to have happen. The back of the car clipped the cor clipped the tire wall there and just sent me into a, fren a frenzy spin, like a whirlwind or something. So, yeah. Basically, the way this mode works is you do, whilst you do want to, you know, continuously slide and get points, you'll earn more points the higher up, uh, position you're up. So, so you want to make sure that you you can you can work your way up the field because once you've done that, getting points becomes a lot easier because you'll net much more. And I'm still screwing up the shifts. I'm I'm pressing the wrong buttons for the shift. It's not good. Yes, I'm aware of that. Oh my god, yeah. I think the problem is I was playing a game uh, the other night where the shift buttons were the other way. Where I had the, sh the shift buttons were set the other way around. So my m my muscle memory is still very confused on that, which isn't a good thing. Oh, pff, cool. That's, that was very smart of me. Not actually at all. Okay, so I was going to see if I could just try to work, pu push my way through there. Didn't work out as I was hoping for, but I am still up, up in front of them now, so whatever. Oh, God, not paying attention. I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. It's ha It's just hanging there. No biggie. Oh, there it goes. Oh, God. I nearly screwed up the suspension of the car briefly, too. Oh, come on. Well, that was not too bad there to at least keep get a combo, but yeah. Yeah, you can tell I'm probably pushing a bit. I, again, I don't really need to get that many, but I would actually like to see how many points I can get it for being in first, but Marling's not really trying much. He's just actually kind of flooring it. Ow, that's a wall. Go watch out for those. So, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm a little bit out of it. I kind of... I was out for a bit of a walk. Oh, no! Oh damn it! I was out for a bit of a walk, and 
it's, it's quite a bit warm out, which is kind of crazy because it's October, but, but yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> At this rate, I'm, because I know I'm kind of going to win anyways, I kind of really want to catch up to a Marling there. Shut the fuck up. I'm well aware that that combo is dead. That one's dead too, and I wasn't even. <sighs> Jesus Christ. At this rate, I'm just literally trying to get up to him because I really do want to see how many points I can get, but he's actually flooring it like it's a proper race or something. Which is the only problem. Well, I guess I can take that. Because I want to see if there you actually do earn any more for being out in uh, first. You probably do. Wouldn't be surprised. Again, the only problem is Marling's actually my teammate is actually trying to go fast more so than actually trying to drift. So I might never figure. I might never. Might not, I might not be able to find out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find out. I don't know why he's trying so much. Then again, I'm doing the same thing, I suppose. But it's it's a I don't know. It's a bit silly to me, is all. But yeah, that does it doesn't matter because I've I've won despite all of that anyway. So I knew I was going to because you know they're not they're not. It seems to be with the drift mode, these guys aren't raking a lot of points. I'd have to make the difficulty higher to have any better chance at that. And one of the reasons I probably haven't you wouldn't use the teammates very often is because the the they're uh they're they're when you uh if you notice they don't uh have as high quality f sponsors and stuff they lower the quality but i guess to save a bit of memory or something i have no idea but that's what seems to be the case well oh, anyways it doesn't matter we've uh we're still mostly perfect which we have as in we've won two both times so Again, the same. 305,000 for me and 241,000 for him. Okay, okay, this is a little better. I'm actually starting uh, up and forth this time. And ahead of my teammate. I really do want to get to the front and see how much I can get. Just gotta, gotta get ahead of all the American muscle cars here. Okay, starting to, my muscle memory is starting to get a little better with the shifting. At least not the drifting, the shifting. Oh, fuck! It had to be. I hit the back. I hit the back of that thing and nearly took him. Took him. What's the guy doing? Is he okay? Cause he doesn't seem okay. I'm at, now I'm actually trying to get it, and it's not working out as I was hoping for. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the S2000 might not be as good as this as I was expecting, or I just suck at this. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with the latter. Fucking, I got too close there. There we go. Sixty thousand is apparently the amount you can get. I shouldn't have done that, but again, I'm fine. I'm still in the lead, anyways. Uh, and then I spin out. Uh, lovely. And I just hit my own teammate back, so I didn't mean to do that. This has not been very pretty. I apologize. I I was kind of hoping for a bit of a better video so far here, but I'm... Oh, my God. I'm not doing very well here. Which is annoying me. Anyways, I'm just gonna try to just keep keep going here and not worry about the whole situation. I don't know why he says that every lap. It's like, does he does he think I have short-term memory loss or something? Because it sure seems like it. Ah, I got too close again. I'm surprised they didn't just put one there, seeing how easy it is to. To take the inside line.
Anyways, not not gonna worry about it. At this point, we're pretty much just put this one in the bank and we're fine. And I didn't put it in the bank, I just fucking killed it. Uh, starting to question if this was the best idea for a drift course. That had, that had to be someone else, because that was not me that time. Okay. Anyways, a bit of a mess with this one, but it's fine. We come out with the with the, the overall victory, anyways, as as we usually do. It's been like very. There's been very few races throughout this entire LP so far that have not come first in. So you know that's a that's a good that's definitely a good sign. Anyways. Not gonna worry about that too much. Wow, Hamarling only came seventh this time. What was he doing the whole time? Just kind of farting around or something. At least he beat Dan Marshall in the, from Team ZE. We still we still get the uh, the team win because of the previous results. But yeah, that he shot the bet on that. He shot the bet on that last one. Coming home with nothing in that one. And uh oh, it's time for a notable a notable thing. Cause I can't skip this. Well done, Nitro. You've earned the ARL national badge. You can now enter the top events in the US. Yep. I can now enter the best events that are possible in over in the US. Which is awesome. But not right now, at least. That's gonna be for later on in the LP. For obvious reasons. That's your biggest paycheck yet. Yep, nearly two million in that one. Could have been two million if it wasn't for the last result by Hamarling. Anyways, the new sponsors are Optronic Ignition, JVC, and Unlimited by Mark Echo. We're really moving up in the world, but if we want to compete internationally, we've got to think big. We've already upgraded our garage to a world-class facility, so now it's up to you to perform on the track. No pressure. Yep. Because now we're up to the big leagues, we get a really stellar garage this time. Basically, yeah. Just, just look at it. It, it, it looks sweet, nice and nice and compact, and but all, but looking pretty sweet. And we now have another thing here: the Global Racing League. Yes, there is more. But for now, we've un there is what we've unlocked: the ARL National Badge. Which just has three events, but they are slow. They there are more races in them. I think roughly four or five. So that that'll get. By the time I get to that, that's gonna start. That's where the parts will start just becoming one event, just because of, just because of that. But for now, we're not. But for now, like I said, and of course there's that thing. Like I said though, for now that's gonna be for later on because we still have quite a bit of ways to go. So because next up we now have is a GT1 event. Aston Martin versus Corvette. So, we have two choices. We can either, well, actually three choices. Excuse me. We can either go with the Aston Martin DBR9 for 2.7 million. We can go with the Corvette C5R for 1.9 million. Which these are all list prices, by the way. Or the Chevrolet Corvette C6R for 2.4 million. A lot of interesting choices, but. I'm an Aston Martin nut, so I have to choose this, even though it is the most priced. Although, wait, look at this. We can get one for 2.3 million. It's some money saved, man. I just realized I was missing the sponsors. That's fine. I'll do that off screen. Uh, actually, well, what my off screen, I mean, change them off screen. I'll show the the bunch of them uh, after after this this thing here. So don't worry, you will see that. Uh, no, by the way, that's the thing you can do once if if you do if you feel like you don't need to sell a car, you can sell it on eBay Motors and make some money that way. But I, but I have no plans on doing that, so let's just, I'm, I like to just build my garage up and just keep what I have. So yep, it's kind of interesting you have the Aston Martin versus Corvette. I suppose at the time, this would have been pretty accurate because the DBR9 was actually, oh shit. 
because the DBR9 was actually was actually doing quite well around the time the game came out. Like I think was what was it? The I I'm trying to remember. My memory isn't the best. Oh fuck! That hit really damage put mechanical damage on the car. Are you kidding me? Jesus, what's going on here? Oh, now he's just not moving. That that guy. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? What are these people doing? Well, they just d d who gave them their driver's license with this? The racing license, even. It's just like, what the hell? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're just slamming on the brakes and giving me almost no time to react, and I'm just ra running into the back of them and getting mechanical dam- already getting mechanical damage as a result. I don't know what the, what the hell these guys are doing. There we go. Oh, great. Now he's trying to give me a bit of a nudge off. What is happening here? Right, it's just not trying not to worry about it. I just gotta try to work. I gotta just work my way up and pro everything will probably be okay. That's not okay! Oh, like crap. This is this is all going out. This is all going bad. Alright, there we go. Inside line this time should be fine. What are you doing? What are these guys doing? What the hell is this? Oh my god, come on, this is getting a little out of hand here. There we go, holy Christ almighty, that... So, th this has been taking way more effort for this than it really needs to be taking effort. At least now I'm kind of out of the bit more in the open. I'm, my teammate, my team... My teammates kind of, uh, got a comfortable lead right now. Oh, there goes one of the Corvettes. Yes, I'm aware of- I am aware of that, I can see. Whoops. Might have accidentally gone a little too tight into the corner, not realizing he was there. Nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm a little too frustrated after that disaster of, uh, trying to get this race even started. That doesn't matter. Come on, I gotta just make a push here. Yep, that did, there was some slipstreaming indeed. There we go. Nicely into the second place there. Almost said lead, but I was like, but my teammates there. I mean, team wise, we're in the lead, of course. So, but that's to be expected. Yes, and at. <laughs> I'm right in front of you. Is that okay? I. Don't see why that wouldn't be okay. You're a teammate. I'm not gonna be bothered by the fact you're in front of me. You're a teammate. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I might act. I probably will end up passing him because you know I do like to at least tr try and go for it. But that's but he's he Kamarling's doing pretty well here. He's. He's starting to show more of his uh, more of his talent here. Oh wow, I took that corner pretty well. He kind of got a bit uh, tail out there, just a bit. Yes, you yes you are holding second right now, and then you probably will unless you screw something up. You probably will continue to hold second because uh, no one's around. We've got quite a good lead uh, compared to everyone else. Nearly three seconds. Well, three seconds not for my sakes, but nearly three for uh, a Marling. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna be coming to get us. That was a bit interesting. I actually came out of that section pretty quick. I must say. Well, Demont seems to be closing in a little bit, but it's still got a little bit ways to go. Oh fuck! That's the one thing about this game. I I have to be honest with. When you start getting into the grass, when you feel the car coming loose like that, it's almost impossible to regain the traction. It's just, it's just, it's it's frustrating to be honest. But it doesn't matter because as long as I mean I know I'm still uh, I can at least get this last lap done without any issues, and we should be fine. 
And then to make sure about that, I'm not gonna look back or nothing, because last time I tried doing that, I was doing it, I did it far too late and smacked right into a thing when that, that was back with the Porsche on Spa. Ooh, careful. The teammate's actually getting right up to me now. At least here it's actually okay to do so. There we go. That was a pretty, that was a pretty close one too. Between me and the teammate, and my my friends just text, texted me about something. It's just a bunch of things here. Again, you you get again you you probably know exactly what I'm trying to do here. It's a shame it puts it so close. Actually, although to be said, that being said, I that doesn't look that would look pretty cool for a thumbnail. So, I might I might. I'll put that in and see what I think. I'm also back to using my uh, PS4 controller again. I got a new cable for it because I wasn't having too much luck with the cables I had before. I'm, my USB cables, I almost, I have a lot of bad luck with finding one that works, but I just decided, fuck it, I'm going to buy like a pretty long one. Like I got like a 10-foot cable from Staples. It's from a brand I've never heard of called Scosche, like S-E-O-S-C-H-E. -E. Never heard of them. Was was kind of on the fence because you know it didn't have much reviews. And I almost bought like a Staples brand, but the Staples people said get this one because it'll probably last longer. So I, so I paid the few extra dollars to get it, and I've had it left in the controller. And just no matter which direction this thing cable is gone, it's never disconnected. I might finally, for now at least, have a cable that will actually won't actually give me any problems, so I can use my PS4 controller happily on my computer, which is awesome because I I really like the way the PS4 controller feels in the hand personally. But anyway, so yep, I got of course 305,000. He's gonna get 241, so that's gonna be good for the money. And yep, Simon Shepard apparently knows this track. And this is still the thing that annoys me about the game. It's like, I understand the game probably does it to give it a bit of challenge, but it's like, why does it always, almost always have to put you so far back down? And it, it's, it is random, but more often than not, it, ra the random is set to you being further in the back. <laughs> Meanwhile, my teammate is all the way out, starting in the, in the, on pole position. Why can't the game just have it completely random? Where... It can randomize to ha actually have you be in pole position. I mean, it just—I don't know. Oh, one of the one of the uh, DBR nines is spun there. And yeah, speaking of DBR nine, this doesn't sound anything like a DBR nine. If you, any, there's a cat outside. If you if you have uh, heard what a DBR nine sounds like, it it's honestly a f extremely ferocious. But it it's ferocious. But it sounds but it sounds nothing like this. It's honestly one of the best sounding GT1 race cars I've personally ever heard, and you know, the DBR9 was pretty much Aston Martin's ticket to get back into 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 racing, and was a successful one for them. Like the DBR9 was pretty much the first car that really uh, rebooted them being in uh, racing because I'm pretty because Aston Martin had some things over the years. They had some smaller things and. Weren't they in Formula 1 at one point? I can't even remember, but as, yeah, as, I'm pretty sure Aston Martin, some Aston Martins did used to race, but the DVR9 was kind of really the first one that really jump-started it. There was an attempt with, okay. when a team tried to make a GT1 out of a DB7 back in 95, but it it just it never did well enough to actually participate in the race. It got close, but it just came, it, would, it, it, had, it had just come short. And it's kind of a good thing, probably it didn't race, because even if it did, uh, there was there was nothing that was going to uh, outpace the McLaren, the McLarens that year, because they had McLaren came in full force, giving teams their F1 GTR, and they just completely dominated the field. I mean, they did so well that the the, the F1 GTR, like the car was so good that the, the F1 GTR that ended up winning that race, the Kokosai. Kaihatsu Racing Team, the the all the the black and gray one, uh, that one was the first test was the first m model of it, like the num what, the O zero one R or something. It was the very first one, and it won the whole race, this whole damn race. That yeah, that was just how good the F one GTR was. Where the f even the first one that that they made was just had c the capabilities. Like technically, really. For why any of them could have really won, but that was the one that eventually prevailed. 
but then, but then of course, then you know the McLaren would dominate in in racing leagues. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it did like the FIA GT or was it BPR? I don't even remember anymore. It it did it won like ninety five and ninety six. <laughs> yes, I did. That that was that was mostly me behind my teammate right until near the end there. But yeah, there was. I'm trying to remember who it was for the. 95, 96, I think it was the golf racing team, the blue and orange. Wasn't like the light blue and orange that you see with uh, like the GT40s and uh, even like Aston Martin, some of the Aston Martins now. But yeah. The yeah, Aston Martins, they had, you know, the DBR9 kind of kick started it. It won at Le Mans, and I think in its class, I think <sighs> had to be 2009 or something. Might have done it in 08, I can't remember anymore. But it. It eventually did, and Aston Martin has still been racing to this day. I mean, they don't have the DBR9 anymore. They have the the V8, the Vantage GTE or something like that. They so they use they use like the Vantage now, but oh, you gotta be kidding me. But um, that car has kind of continued the success of Aston Martin racing because that car has had loads of success over the years of it being used. And sometimes I wonder if Aston Martin has just is deciding to. Since they did it with the DB9 here, if they're gonna make like a DBR11, that would be kind of cool. And then of course Aston Martin does have like some more like prototype things, like the AMR double one, a double wasn't their name AMR AMR double two. I don't I don't really know those prototypes as well. It's the GT cars I'm a little more familiar with, but, but yeah Aston. But yeah, this is kind of the car that really kickstarted it. And then of course Corvettes ever since the C5R have been absolutely dominant. They're, they've raced in so many different leagues and have won so many goddamn times. The C5R, the C6R, and even the C now the, with the C7R. The car just continues to win races constantly. It is so Corvette like like the Corvette racing cars have just they've had a stranglehold on GT class racing for years. And sure, they don't win every time, obviously, because you know. There's other dominant likes with, like, of course, there's Audi with their R8 LMS, especially their R8 LMS Ultra. There's Mercedes with the, with what they had the SLS GT3 and then the AMG GT3. You know, McLaren has the 650S GT3, which, and which was that they they also had the 12C GT3, but I think the 650S personally has had a little bit more success. Hell, hell, fucking Bentley got into. He got back into racing after like the Speed 8, like years after their Speed 8 program ended. Yeah. And Le Mans, they made a new, an updated Continental, and like let's take this GT3 racing. And they did, and it's wor and it's worked pretty well for them. But yeah, it's kind of like honestly, as much as LMP is just a disaster right now because of how much it's being overpaid. G it's, it really is a time to be alive for GT racing because there's so many different, so many different manufacturers that have are racing in GT class, and they're just doing so well. You got, I mean, for Porsches, Porsches do well. Ferrari does well. Ford, Ford has done well. Like 2016, they had the GT uh, in Le Mans. 50, 50 years after the the Ford GT40. One in Le Mans for the first time, the GT in the GTE Pro class or whatever it was one, ended up winning that year. Like so, it's like a, a a way to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the win by winning in their class. <clears throat> they they didn't do it this year. I think it was Aston Martin. I think it was Aston Martin this year. I think, or it could have been someone else. I don't know. My memory's already pretty bad. Anything that wasn't like LMP. Although to be fair, I kind of really wish something had happened to that 919. An LMP1. I would have. It would have been hilarious to see uh, the 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 LMP uh, Le Mans class this year come down to the t top three, all being LMP2s. That would have been hilarious because the Toyota was out pretty early because of driver error. And then one of the Porsches ended up uh, falling back, but there was one that still remain that managed to kind of catch back and take the win. Which you know, hats off to them. But you know, it would have been awesome to see. A, a pole, like a, a podium filled with nothing but LMP2. That would have been great. Would have been such a huge boost for LMP2. I mean, it it technically still was with the second and third, but you know, you know what I mean. Ooh, that okay. That looks kind of cool there. I have to say. 
Anyways, so that's another one down, and hopefully with this me talking quite a bit more, it's kind of uplifted the video maybe, I don't know. But yeah, so what it comes down to is the S... Uh, Okay, so the only other team that actually entered Aston Martins was Silver Mountain Mortars. Interesting. But Luminition was the winner. So that I think they were C6Rs. So, though all winners as in second place. <laughs> because we're the winners. For my team, obviously. And on a 1-2 finish in all three races, too. So, we're ranking as much money as we can, I can from this. Well, almost, because there was the flashbacks. But th those are so minuscule anyways. Doesn't make that big of a difference. Well done, yep, and now I got the one for the Euro. You can now enter the top events in Euro. Yes, I'm quite aware of that. We're almost near that point, too, but there we go. Euro A. Very nice. Well done, Nitro. Big win. Yep. 2.2 million. We made almost all the money back we, got for, we had from getting that Aston Martin. Anyways, what are the sponsors? Uh, is that what is that? Seric design? I can't read that very well. I'll have to get a thing. Oh, I back springs, and of course OMP. And yes, of course we're gonna get our little uh, little cutscene for the Euro A license. I, I see a cup. I see a thing in there that we haven't even we've not done yet. That and that'll be pretty interesting when I get to that eventually. And yes, yes, I'm aware. Anyways, I promised I would show this off just before the end of the video. So let's see what we got. So, hmm. So Echo does give you thirty grand. That's not bad. Mintex twenty-seven. Promoter JVC only twenty-two. What's what are the lowest ones? Okay, twenty-five thousand. So I could I would be able to put in OMP and Echo there, and then Mintex would go in for twenty-seven at the bottom. So yeah, or act or would it actually? No, I think I don't think it would actually because. The two thirty thousands would go could go there, and then you have Corbeau, which is would be the one swapped for the twenty eight thousand, one of the twenty eight thousand. Okay, I figured out how that's gonna work. Anyways, I'm gonna do this off screen because, of course, there's the chance the game might crash because the game hates me like that sometimes. So I'm gonna go take care of that off screen, and I hopefully we'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and like as I just said, literally, I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care, guys.